Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a short video to explain some things to you. I just got this new uh, Asus car, uh, the 12th gen uh, Intel CPU and all that, 4070 Ti. Uh, I had some issues in the beginning and that was I had Windows 10 installed instead of Windows 11. And what will happen is all the drivers that are in here on their website won't work on Windows 10. If you just select them and download them and try to install they won't work. So this is really crucial. Why? Because the chipset drivers must be installed. So you, you shouldn't skip the chipset drivers. Uh, why I'm telling you this is because before I tried to run uh, the games without these chipset drivers, my temps were hitting like 90s in CSGO. So I wasn't running a demanding game. It was CSGO, you know, and I was hitting like 92, 93. I was like, what the fuck, dude, what's happening? So basically, yeah, I just updated my Windows to Windows 11. I just installed the chip, uh, chipset drivers and now my temps are great. I'm having like 72, 74 degrees Celsius on the CPU in uh, Cyberpunk on like max settings, uh, QHD. So yeah, you can just, uh, you can just uh, draw the conclusions, you know. So let me show you, for example, let me just open CSGO for a while and I'll show you the temps right now. So it's like a huge, huge damn difference, man. You should really get Windows 11. This is not made to work with Windows 10 properly. It works, but the temps will spike. So yeah, it's not worth it. Just update your Windows and go with Windows 11 and it will be all right. Let's wait a bit. All right. So you will see the difference right now. We'll hit like 70 degrees. I'm pretty much hitting 70 in every game. I haven't tried Far Cry 5 and I really will try this game because it's really demanding and hard on the CPU. So I will do a video in like a few hours after this one just to show you guys the temps in uh, Far Cry because I consider that game like one of the most demanding games on the CPU. So uh, yeah, let's see. Just look at the temps now. So I was hitting 90s before, which was nuts. Yeah, 72, 60 something. It will be in the 70s like most of the time. Yeah, so it's like in the 70s, like most of the time. I'm also getting a, a, like 2-3 degrees higher probably because I'm recording. But yeah, overall, temps will be in the 70s with the CPU. Yep, so there you go guys. As you can see the temps are like way way better right now. So yep, um, see you guys in the next video. I'll try Far Cry 5 next and maybe some, I don't know, Elden Ring or something. So yep, see ya.